We're joined now by Connecticut Democratic Senator Chris Murphy, who traveled to Ukraine earlier this month and met with President Zelensky there. Good morning to you, Senator. You just heard uh, Senator Graham give a full-throated defense of the president here. Uh, would you like to respond? Well, Republicans are circling the wagons because they know this isn't about hearsay evidence. This is about a transcript in which the president of the United States seeks to trade away the credibility of the country, seeks to use the immense power of the presidency in order to destroy a political rival. The whistleblower complaint is absolutely credible, but frankly, you don't need it because you have a transcript of a conversation in which the president of the United States tried to convince a foreign leader to interfere in the 2020 election. And you have Rudy Giuliani on TV every morning and every night openly admitting that as an agent of the president's campaign, mm -hmm. he has been coordinating with the State Department in order to try to perpetuate the president's political agenda. This is not allowable in a democracy. And frankly, it frightens me that Republicans are standing up and defending the president. Because if he gets away with this, what's to stop him from essentially integrating the entirety of American foreign policy, the State Department itself, into his political reelection campaign. The Ukrainians don't have a lot of interest in interfering in our election. You can hear that mm -hmm. in the way that Zelensky talks. But if President Trump has asked or does ask the Russians or the Saudis to interfere in the 2020 election, they will simply ask when and how. Uh, the State Department has said Rudy Giuliani does not represent the U.S. government. They're, they've tried to make that clear. But w when you went to Ukraine earlier this month and you met with President Zelensky, in the retelling of that, President Trump this week accused you of threatening the Ukrainian president. What exactly did you say? Well, first of all, of course Rudy Giuliani is attempting to speak for the United States government, right? And you can understand how the Ukrainians are confused when the personal representative of the president is coming to them and asking them to help destroy one of his political rivals. And you can also understand how they might be concerned that if they don't do the bidding of the president of the United States, there might be consequences that come to them. When I went to Ukraine three weeks ago, uh, I told the president um, that he should stay away from interfering in the 2020 presidential election. And if he wants to talk to the United States government, he should talk to the State Department because I had heard these concerns that the Ukrainians didn't understand what the consequences would be if they said no to the president's request to investigate the Bidens. And they worried, um, rightly, that there might be a consequence to their security. Uh, and that just stands to reason. Remember, whether or not there's an explicit quid pro quo. Yeah. There's an implicit threat in every demand that the President of the United States makes. If you don't do what the President of the United States wants, you know there are going to be consequences. Did you, did you ask if there was anything to all of these uh, insinuations around Hunter Biden? Did you ever bring that up with Ukrainian <clears throat> officials? Well, no, that didn't come up because we already know that there is zero evidence for the claims that the president is making. That, in fact, uh, the prosecutor at the time uh, was not investigating mm -hmm. uh, this company and that there is zero evidence to suggest Well, the investigation that, was open, but it was not being prosecuted or well, pursued. And remember, and, and remember, the vice president was doing what every other one of our allies was doing. This was a corrupt and incompetent prosecutor. Mm -hmm. Vice President Biden, the EU, the IMF, everyone was calling for his removal. And by the way, at the time, there wasn't a single Republican Republican in the United States Congress who was raising an issue with what the Vice President was doing. It only comes up now that they are trying to defund, to defend the corrupt actions Why of the President. Why do you think, you sit on Senate Foreign Relations, so you have some oversight of the State Department. Uh, Secretary Pompeo has been subpoenaed by House Committee. A number of diplomats are coming forward for depositions this week. Why, up to this point, has the State Department refused to hand over some of the documents? Do you have any insight into that? Well, listen, we're learning by the day how deeply integrated the State Department was into Trump's corrupt actions. Essentially, what Trump is trying to do... You think it, Secretary Pompeo was directly involved in this? Well, what we know is that, that Ambassador Volcker was involved, that Rudy Giuliani says he was doing this at the direction of the State Department. I don't know whether the Secretary himself was involved, but what you cannot allow is for the President to use the massive power of his office, the credibility of the United States, in order to try to get foreign countries to interfere in an American election. That's what he was doing here today, and that's why you've seen this massive turn of public opinion. That's why Americans know that you have to open an impeachment inquiry. Is it possible to do 
what Lindsey Graham said here for the president to actually get things done legislatively. Are Democrats really going to be willing to work with him? So I'm willing to walk and chew gum at the same time. Uh, I'd love to get a deal done on background checks. That's a matter of saving lives. Uh, so if the president's willing to work with us on guns, I'm ready to do it. If we don't get a background checks deal, mm -hmm. the only reason that it doesn't get done is because the president is distracted, not because his potential okay. partners in Congress won't work with him. Senator Murphy, thank you very much.